I'm now being joined by Eric Thomas and Nate Fry, student athletes from New Orleans, as well as head coach Mark Schlesinger. Mark, if you like, you can make an opening statement. We'll open the floor for questions. Sure. Um, you know, I, my hat goes off to Mount St. Mary's and, and their game tonight. It was an incredibly competitive game, uh, start to finish. I'd, I'd like to um, publicly uh, thank the city of Dayton, uh, the University of Dayton, and the first four uh, for everything they've done to make this an, a, a lifelong memory for our student athletes. Uh, this is uh, a premier venue. It's a premier uh, event, and we were proud to be a part of it. And, and I'm sincerely uh, grateful to, to the city of Dayton and the University of Dayton for, for hosting us and being a part of it. Uh, I, I can't be more proud of where our program has come in a short time. Uh, to be able to, to, uh, to go through the adversity that we've been through uh, is 100% credit to our student athletes, their commitment uh, to the university, their commitment to our city, uh, and their commitment to each other. And uh, it's been a blessing to coach these guys and for us to move our program forward to a level uh, that many didn't envision outside of our locker room. And so for that, uh, my, my gratitude and my sincere thanks goes to our student athletes. Questions for our student athletes only. Here on the left on the aisle. This is for uh, Eric Thomas, James Ernest with the Grueling Truth Radio Network. What do you feel the difference in the game was? Um, big difference in the game was, uh, you know, we didn't, we had a slow start and, uh, that really hurt us. We dug a little hole for ourselves, but, um, you know, we just, we slowly came back into the game and once we got our groove back, um, you know, we just weren't able to finish the game out. So, uh, you know, uh, congrats to, uh, St. Mary's, you know, they, they played hard and, um, you know, it was a great game. You're in the front, right? Eric, you had trouble scoring in the second half. In fact, I think you didn't get a, get anything. What, what were they doing to you? How, how did they approach defending you? Um, they were just trying to uh, double down sometimes, you know, get a, uh, some bluffs here and there, uh, you know, trying to, trying to have that coverage um, on me. So it was, it was a little difficult to score over, over my defender. But, um, you know, we, we try to counter that. And uh, by running our offense, you know, we just stayed composed. And uh, I, I, it wasn't the best half, but I was trying to help my teammates out in, in other ways, you know, defensively and, and on the boards. So, um, you know, I, I did the best that I could um, that second half. Your front right again. Nate, you really took over early in the second half. I think you scored 10 points in a row. What was your mindset at that point? And how tough is it to lose a game when you shoot well better than 50%? as a team? Um, I mean, it's pretty hard. It's, um, it's still hitting me. Uh, like Eric said, we got off to a slow start. And you know, we were, we're able to get away with that some games. But you're in a national, you're in a national game. And you can't, you can't afford to start off slow like that. Uh, we, got away from, we got away from some things that made us successful. Um, one is just simply guarding. Um, I think they, well, they shot 53%. And that we don't, that's, that's not something that we do. And um, in, in a game like this, they made way too many threes. We allowed way too many open looks on the th from the three and uh, rebounding. And um, we just, you know, in, in our tournament game, we did a really, really, really good job of block, blocking that. And we, we failed to do that this game. But um, now it, was a, it was a fun game. I, and I enjoyed playing against uh, Mount St. Mary. They have a good team, a good group of guards that uh, they're going to do well in the tournament. And uh, that was that was pretty much it. I just we just I just felt like we didn't play defense like we normally do. Front right here again. Nate, why was it so difficult to defend the three against them? Uh, it looked like they had some open looks. Y'all had patches of good defense, but the, the three was a problem. Right, right. And I think sometimes we were we were helping too much. Um, some we normally just bluff, but uh, and, and it started on the ball too. Um, us guards, we weren't we weren't getting over the top of the screen and stopping the ball, which caused the help and then caused the kick out. So it was a chain reaction in some ways, and they were getting a lot of wide open looks that you know, like I said, we normally get out to, but the the, print, the penetration was so deep, we would have to over help and they would kick out and get the three. Here in the back left, Tim. Eric on the inbounds play there at the very end. Uh, what, what was the thought there? What was the play? And uh, did that one get away from him, or did or did the receiver not get deep enough? <laughs> Um, I'll just say, uh, you know, just uh, we weren't able to execute it. Uh, 
you know, it was a well-drawn-out play by one of our coaches. And, uh, you know, I tried to deliver the ball to him. It's, it's a little high, so, uh, you know, it was tipped out and, uh, you know, recovered by the other team. But, I mean, we've ran that countless of times throughout the regular season, and it's, it's worked out for us. You know, we actually went into overtime and won games with that kind of play. So, uh, you know, it was, it was a great play. It's, we just weren't able to uh, finish the game out. Here in the front right. Eric, your thoughts on the career, your career ending in, in, in this, this environment and, and, and how much you guys really wanted to get that shot at, at Villanova in two days to extend your season against the defending national champ? Well, it's been a great uh, experience all throughout this season. You know, uh, our team has accomplished so much this year. Uh, just being able to be um, on a national stage and putting our school on the map for, uh, for our city, it, it means a lot to us, um, you know. Being able to experience this with my teammates, my coaches, uh, it's a one in a lifetime deal. So I'm just uh, blessed and uh, thankful for uh, Dayton uh, to have us, you know, this week. Uh, I'm not happy how it turned out and, and I would love to be in Buffalo. But, um, you know, things worked out for a reason. And um, I think it's just a start, a big start for our program. You know, we'll, I, I believe in the new guys, the young guys we have and the returning guys. So um, I have faith in them coming back. You know, we'll, we'll be back for sure next year. So. Uh, that's that, man. Last one here, back left. Nate, could you hear me okay? Nate, could you um, answer the same question, basically? Um, I'm gonna just piggyback off what Eric said. Um, you know, we got the we got the engine started on the car. Now the car is moving. Uh, we just got to pick up speed and keep building off of what we did this year. And uh, I would, I personally say, I'm proud of what we've accomplished as well. Um, you know, we we established the building blocks of what was broken down from for Katrina. And I know Coach uh, Coach Sessions is gonna do everything to keep keep it building, keep it going. And the guys are eager. They been, they were eager this year to step up. You know, some some had to wait their time. But now that they're, you know, they've seen, or hopefully they've learned from what we've done, you know, thrown out the bad and kept the good, and, and you know, can keep can keep this uh, this program going in the direction that it should go. So I'm, you know, I'm I'm upset about the loss. Um, I've I wanted to play Villanova so 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 bad, but you know, like Eric said, things happen for a reason, and um, I think New Orleans is going to be good. Just watch out for us. Nate and Eric, thank you. Congratulations on your season. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Questions for Coach Lessinger here on the right. Austin Ward, ESPN.com. Mark, it's like five or six minutes left. You guys had the little, looked like an altercation between two of your players. You know what happened there? Can you give us any insight on what, what was happening and maybe the decision you made with your lineup from there out? Well, we, we got two um, extremely competitive uh, guys that are, I mean, they're best friends, <laughs> to be honest with you. And, and just got it, they just got, just got sideways with each other. They, one thought he should have, Zigged, and the other one thought he should have zagged, and they got sideways with each other, and and uh, got into it. I made a decision to to set Traven uh, the the rest of the half. Um, I thought it was in the best interest of our team uh, moving forward for that half. Uh, it's disappointing. Uh, he, you know, he's he's got as big a heart, and it, and unfortunately for him, uh, it was it gives an uncharacteristic uh, impression of the of how great a kid he is. He's a he's an honor student um, who's extremely passionate and. and uh, cares about his team and loves and and uh, it'll be something that 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 unfortunately for both those guys um, you know in some of the lights I'd say being it's the first question unfortunately it'll it'll take away a little bit uh, from the from the experience of the game and how and how great a, of a experience this was for us yep here in the front Mark when you uh, <clears throat> y'all were playing defense with 32.4 seconds left did right. y'all want a foul a little sooner there no, uh, no, uh, no. We, we, there was like a three, four second difference in the clock, and they they didn't have many guys on the floor that were poor percentage guys. Um, we felt pretty good about late clock execution. We had done that two, three times uh, in this year to either put it into overtime uh, or to to get us a win. Um, we had hoped to be able to get him to maybe get it off a little quicker and us to advance it a little farther, but to use our last timeout to have a little bit farther up the floor uh, was what we talked about in that, in that timeout. Um, but I, I, did, I just didn't think I, – I felt like we could get a stop 
and, and keep them and, ha and get a shot on the other end. Uh, just unfortunate we didn't get the shot. Here okay, front right. Yeah. Both teams were able to do a lot of what they wanted to do offensively for the whole game. What did you feel like was the difference in, in the outcome and, and what set you back? Yeah, you know, we, we play in an incredible league in the Southland Conference, a league that's got um, teams that play a very uh, myriad of styles. And um, we've seen about every style of play you could have. And, and I think the, the biggest issues was we never got into a groove defensively where we could keep them uh, in what I feel like is our main – um, fundamental areas. We didn't ball pressure well to the second half of the first half. I didn't feel like we ball pressured and forced turnovers. Uh, I didn't feel like we kept them on the side of the floor. There were a lot of things that we did that were outside of us and, and outside of what made us a really good championship team out of the Southland. And it's unfortunate because I think that uh, everybody didn't get to see our best game tonight. Uh, and I sure would have loved to have an opportunity to take it to the next uh, to the next round to, to see if we could play that perfect game. Here on the left. What's your feelings on Eric Thomas's uh, future in basketball, either in the States or abroad? Uh, he's got extremely high, high ceiling. You know, he's, he's got a, a, a knack for scoring um, without hunting shots, without hunting catches, without trying to go and find it. And, that's rare. It's uh, a lot of guys can score the ball that have it in their hands all the time, uh, but he finds ways to score it and yet still keep his team involved. Uh, you know, we led the league in field goal percentage this year and led the league in assists and had, you know, the second leading score and in and, and the player of the year. So that tells you how good a team player he is. And he's one of those guys that fits in the category of basketball player. He's not an athlete. He's not a shooter. He's a basketball player. And in my 20 years of experience at this level, those guys play for, for a good while and have an opportunity to, to make a living playing the game. And I think he'll do that. Um, and, he's a mean, and he's a mean competitor. He wants to get better every day and comes in to play to win. And uh, I think it'll carry him a long way. Last one here on the right. Yeah, Mark, what did they do? Did they double him a lot uh, to, to kind of shut him down in the second half? Well, you know, they, 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 they sagged all, after we got our initial baskets early and in, in, in the half court, I thought they came out and pressured. We were able to, to execute offensively. They switched and started sagging and packing back, you know, almost into the paint, trying to force us and dares to shoot. We had talked about that, and we thought that was something they might do due to the size difference for us. Um, we talked about passing up good shots for great shots. The, the reality of it is that we probably took a couple too many good shots. Uh, and, and when it's a one-point game, you needed all great shots. And I think, you know, a couple of those elbow jumpers where they sag back off of you or, you know, an open three early in the shot clock where maybe we could have ran a couple reversals and got, you know, a, a great shot on the backside. Uh, offensively, that was the difference for us. Now, conversely, defensively, uh, that piece of their game plan uh, worked well until we got uh, dialed in the second half. We're able to get downhill and start attacking and, and really go at it and attack. And, that piece, that piece will haunt me for a while, trying to figure out how we, how we didn't get uh, a faster rhythm uh, to be able to get, to get a win. Mark, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it.